So hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kalanjus here and I hope you're all having an amazing day. So for today's video, I will be teaching you how to create your own Instagram filters using Spark ER Studio and PixArt only. So yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon is yung way kung paano ko ginagawa yung mga filters ko. So it's really easy. I started creating filters, Instagram filters, noong June 6. And it's June 8 na. Almost 13 filters na yung meron ako. And sobrang, at first kasi, like, nahirapan din ako gumawa. Pero nung medyo nakuha ko na, yun, sinunod-sunod ko yung paggawa. And nakaka-enjoy talaga siya. And it's cute, you know? Okay, to start with, you need an editor. You can use Canva or Photoshop. But I use PixArt since ito yung medyo gamay ko na talaga. Okay, so kapag nasa PixArt ka na, you, you need to click the plus sign sa baba. And then, scroll down mo lang. You'll see sa color backgrounds yung usually ginagamit sa PNG. And we need that. Yun yung gagamitin natin. After that, click add photo. Ang i-add natin na photo is yung sa face asset. Yan. Ako na-download ko na siya so madali na sa akin. Um, just see the link sa description box para ma-download nyo din. Lalagay ko sa baba. And just resize it. Then, okay. After that, click draw. At this part, we are going to mark where we want to put our effects or sticker. Just change its color para maging visible siya. Um, dito sa part na to, dito ako usually naglalagay. So just put a small dot there and also sa kabila din. There. And then, huwag nyo muna siyang i okay kasi we need to remove the face asset. Then, okay. You'll see that yung dot natin is visible na. Diyan natin ilalagay yung sticker natin. So, your choice kung anong sticker yung ilalagay nyo. Um, siguro, ito na lang. Wait. Okay, so, let's choose this one. Rainbow. Okay, so, lagay lang natin doon sa dot natin. There. And then, duplicate nyo lang. Para pantay sila ng side. After that, save nyo na. Okay, so if you're done editing your effect sa PixArt, you, we can now move sa main part, which is pag-edit ng filter sa Spark Air Studio. Um, kung hindi pa kayo nakakapag-download na to, just see the link sa description box and ilalagay ko doon, pati yung sa link ng face assets. So, pag na na, ganito yung lalabas. And, you have to click the blank project. There. So, meron dito na, na parang nag-model, yes. And, dito nyo siya pwedeng baguhin. You can use this. Or this. Ito usually yung ginagamit ko talaga. And, ito. Yan, silang dalawa yung madalas yung ginagamit. But for now, dito tayo. Okay. So, pwede, pero I know, pwede rin ang camera dito. Kaya lang malabo kasi yung cam nito. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. And then to start, you need to add object. Um, sa pinakambaba, meron kayo makikita ang face mesh. And yun yung i-insert natin. Insert face mesh. There. Okay, so, yan. Nagkaroon siya ng face 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 mesh sa mukha, and then add materials. Okay, before that, we have to remain, uh, rename this with smoothness. Um, and then dito sa 
upper right side, meron kayo makikita shader type. I-click nyo yung retouching. This is where you can adjust how smooth or, or rough your, you want your filter to. Usually, ginagawa ko lang siyang 10 kasi I wanted to make more some kind of natural. Ganon. So, just 10. After that, um, sa face tracker, dito ulit sa part na to, um, right click, add, again, and uh, face mesh ulit. There. So, sa part na to, um, tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, just materials and create new material. And also, click nyo to. So, dito na natin i-upload yung pinakang effects na ginawa natin kanina sa PixArt. To do that, meron kayo ng gitang texture dito and choose file. Click nyo yung choose file. And hanapin nyo lang yung ginawa yung filter kanina. There. Yan. Ito na yung filter na ginawa natin kanina sa PixArt. So, um, pwede na yung siya i-upload. It can talk up to 30 minutes to 1 hour sa pag-upload. Ito yung part na mag-upload kayo. Just click that. Yan. So, medyo matagal yung calculating file size nito sa part na to. Pero, yun. Pag okay na to, pag may check na yan, you can upload it na. ba So, hindi to agad makikita sa yung um, Instagram profile kasi nire-review pa to ni Instagram. Pero mabilis lang yung pag-review. Sa akin, almost mga 8 hours lang. Okay na. Yun. So that's it guys for today's video. I hope you learned something and matry nyo gumawa ng sarili nyo filter sa Instagram. So if you wanted to try my own filter, just feel free to visit my Instagram profile at Ionitology and click nyo lang yung uh, face button sa gitna and yun, matatry nyo na yung filters ko. Thank you, bye bye! And oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!